Hey, McCree, do you know what time it is? It's high noon. No. It's time for another episode of Action Esports Top 5 Series, featuring the best McCree plays from the first season of the Overwatch League. Dragonblade, this is exactly what he was hoping for. Flashbang not going to be quick enough. Kellis is dead. So much damage. But that mistakes with the headshot. Point Blake on Libro. First on our list is Sure4 from the LA Gladiators with his McCree play from the second week of Stage 3 against the Shanghai Dragons. Picking up an easy 4K, Sure4 and the Gladiator squad defend the point, successfully securing the round victory. Transcendence from both teams being thrown over on the point. Gregory, again, she can do a lot of damage towards you know, enemy main tanks as well. Get up close for Reaving Staff and pressure the Winston away from her backline. Sure for though deals with feel, as you can see Dia goes very deep in this force to recall out pretty quickly. Self-destruct thrown in, not nearly as impressive as Gregory's earlier on, but she now doesn't have the opportunity to go for that. She gets desuited, pushed back. Flashbang doesn't connect with Five King, but he can't get close enough to the payload and still trying to chase all the way down to deal with free feel. They, I mean, they basically push it all the way to the distance. We can take another look at some of the fantastic diva ultimates from Gregory. Um, this one over towards the end. Oh, yeah, Shaz may also have been watching the Diva Bomb. The London Spitfire's very own Bird Ring takes the fourth spot on our list with his stylish sharpshooting skills against the Dallas Fuel. It feels like Bird Ring never misses his shots on his opponents, making his insane precision a real treat to watch. Necessarily, it's Seagull trying to do the best that he can to delay, and Mickey waiting on the corner goes in. Now it's on Bird Ring here. Can he actually get something out of this dead eye? Yeah, he can get it back. In the back! Not quite over yet, as Prophet is still alive. He's going to have a pulse bomb as well. Throws it over to the corner, which is where Zens naturally hide. A nice dodge there, though. Dallas still in good spot. The spawn advantage is absolutely enormous. Nuss is going to use his Valkyrie, though, to bring one back to life. And Dallas continues to fall. Yeah, Mickey goes primal now. Desperate, but he is getting discorded. He will get melted. And now it is going to be London Spitfire moving forward and collecting three points. Bump. 201 on their clock. One minute remains for finishing under a minute for the London Spitfire. That means it's going to give them two cracks at point A. And the point A defense is... Carpe from the Philadelphia Fusion is third on our list with his sneaky flank against the Florida Mayhem. After picking off Zupe, Carpe goes for the Deadeye flank, grabbing himself a 3K and making sure the enemy team knows what time it is. Valkyrie for the other side. Zewa used his Valkyrie as well. Florida needs one fight. Can Manitin get to his grab as well? Because they have combos they can use. Uh, he's going to be having the Deadeye. Real small. Oh, Zupe! Zupe so low! Somehow Carpe doesn't die. Neptuno again just doing everything to keep his teammates alive. Carpe, man, right now with him pocketing him, this is going to be brutal because he's about to get Deadeye. He could be looking for that flank again. Working his way into the back line. Awesome guy crouching, worried. Saya player going to get deleted by EQO. And then! The flank, the flank from Carpe, the triple that I kill. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. Philadelphia Fusion. It quite literally doesn't get any cleaner than that. 25 kills to zero. Two sect, squadoosh, nothing. Brutal. Just brutal. Second on our list is NYXL's Libero with his play against the Houston Outlaws. Starting off with a Deadeye kill on Banny, Libero keeps the remaining Outlaw players off the point while also denying Linkser's Dragonblade. For Houston, and it's going to be Valkyrie. Linkser wants to get a piece of this Transcendence right now, but he doesn't even get there. He's actually body blocked away from the Trans, and then he's taken down by Jurak from down range. Beautiful stuff. Libero is being forced around by Cool Map, but the Diva can't commit to removing the McCree because there's three other players that need attention. Jake is down, Dragonblade here, but it's through a Transcendence, and Libero takes it down immediately. Two for Libero to finish it off. A little bit of confusion there. Discussion perhaps occurring. Maybe something's broken. Here, this with Dragon Blade because he lands a headshot here on Elixir and then he gets Bonnie as well. I believe. Comes in. Oh, <laughs> that is filthy. It would be a huge dishonor to the big boss if we didn't have him on the number one spot for this list. Problem is, Pine simply has too many crazy McCree plays from the first season of the Overwatch League to really settle on just one. So, we'll just showcase all of them. See how long he wants to live this life, because he's going to have to try to deal with Pine. You can do it! Well, not that time he can't, as he gets disconnected from his mercy. 
finds himself in Pine's crosshairs right there. And they continue to get, he's so aggro on this McCree. He rolls in, somersaults in. That's another three kill life for Pine. Okay, so in the span of uh, 25 seconds, he gets the dead eye. I, I can't even finish my sentence before he kills someone else. Rolling early, Jonak does go down. A res comes in from NYXL, and here comes Pine. Gets one, gets two. Looking for a bit more, gets another one. Are you kidding me? This guy is gonna single-handedly change the point back over it's to gonna NYXL. gonna kill everybody. Oh! Okay. Pine, big boss Pine is on the scene. Yeah, they flip it. Now New York, only a couple percent away. Can they hold it? Houston needs to make this fight happen right now. They need to grind it out, and they're getting the kills to do just that. Pine a little bit on his own here. Oh, but he takes Clockwork out as he comes in. There's another one, the Linkser. Here's the hard carry. Gets Benny with the Deadeye, and there's another one. Pine, this guy is unstoppable. Pine YXL takes well. So a Pine did 13,000 damage for 10 minutes. Which McCree player is your favorite? And do you think the hero will get more play come Season 2 of the Overwatch League? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.